Hello friends, welcome back. So till now we have discussed different methodologies to control linear control systems. And now we are getting familiar with the non-linear control system. This is a new term for us because most of the time we are dealing with uh, LTI systems. They are linear time invariant systems. And the methodology we have used uh, to understand its stability analysis or dynamics of the system a root locus that is time based approach or we can say frequency based approach as border plot or say polar plot or Nyquist plot. But now we are understanding non-linear systems and most of the physical systems that we encounter in the world are non-linear system. So it is very important to get familiarity with the non-linear control, non-linear systems and then to uh, find methodology to control it. Right, but in our syllabus, we just have introduction of nonlinear control systems and different nonlinearities present in the system. Right, so we are not bothered about how we can implement the control strategy for nonlinear system, but we should have the fundamental knowledge what are nonlinear system and uh, which are the different nonlinearities present in any control system. Okay, so first of all, before starting the nonlinear system, let's quickly get familiar or let quickly revise about linear systems. So linear control system are those where principle of superposition right can be applied. Now what is superposition principle? If I have multiple input in the system, for example I have two inputs and I apply it simultaneously then my output will be the addition of the output received through individual inputs right. So if I have say input A and B and if I'm applying those inputs to the system and whatever output I'm getting because of input A and simultaneously I apply input B and I'm getting output because of B, the addition of these two outputs will be giving me the final output. Then system is called as a linear system because it is following superposition principle, right? So in the case of highly nonlinear control system, we are unable to apply the principle of superposition. So, superposition principle will not be applicable for non-linear system and in linear system it will be applied. Okay. Now, linear control systems are governed by linear differential equations, right? Already we have done mathematical modeling for linear system and we represent the system with the help of linear differential equation and in that also the major category is linear time invariant system. So, these systems can be solved by we can either use frequency domain approach like a body plot or Nyquist plot or we can either go for time domain approach like root locus, right? So those methods are readily available for linear system but this methods cannot be applied for non-linear system because non-linear system will not be following the principle of superposition. Now, non-linear control system, uh, it is actually a very important section of control theory in which we are dealing with the non-linearity right and most of the time they are non-linear as well as time variant system so the variety is uh, not only non-linear but also time varying system right so what makes the system non-linear that we will understand first so in mathematics and science a non-linear system is a system in which the change of the output is not proportional to the change of the input right as we know that in mathematics we say that if this uh, output say y and input is say x right so if it is following y is equals to mx plus c then we can say that output is varying in linear relation with the input but if it is not following this proportional uh, relation then we can say the system is non-linear so non-linear dynamic systems describing changes in the variable over time and they are chaotic, unpredictable or we can say uh, they are not linear with change in the time, right? So in contrast with the linear system, this is the major difference because your parameters are not varying linearly with reference to time. Okay, now which are the different non-linearities present in the system? So there are different types of non-linearities like saturation non-linearity, friction non-linearity, dead zone non-linearity, and really non-linearity right and we also deal with backlash non-linearity so all these are the different types of non-linearities present in the control system and in this session I have kept the discussion up to basic understanding of non-linear control system right in the upcoming session we will discuss the detailed explanation for all these non-linearities 
starting with stretch duration nonlinearity so this was just the initial understanding for nonlinear control system and it is a huge uh, it is a huge topic because it deals with almost uh, all real world processes which are nonlinear but considering our syllabus we are only dealing with control system subject right so in this we just have basic introduction of nonlinear control system so that you can get familiar that linear control system are comparatively easy to control whereas nonlinear control systems are difficult right so just the introduction section we are covering in our syllabus but it is a huge topic right so in upcoming session i will give you detail insight about all this nonlinearities and we will also understand how we can represent those nonlinearities and how we can tackle those nonlinearities right so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next session right and uh, just have some basic understanding about nonlinear control system in this session we will have some detailed discussion in upcoming session thank you so much